All right, what's the deal, Thello? This, I mean, mainly Blanco. We working on the uh, Shakes Gumbo. That's my documentary. Yeah, I mean, the first topic is love. You know what I mean, I don't know what you know about it, but you know, have you ever been in love? I've never been in love. Okay. Just to be honest, opening up with you on that one. Uh, but uh, what I do know about it is uh, the concept. I understand the concept. All right. Well, how would you define love? I'd have to say, depending on where you get it from, actually. I'm gonna say I got my definition from the Webster's Dictionary. All right. Which says, the very first definition of it is uh, an affection, an affection and emotion that comes down from a higher power, we call it God. Um, then there's affection between, the second definition, affection between animalistic creatures like human beings themselves or animals themselves, like paternal, which is fatherly, Maternal, which is motherly, fraternal, brotherly, and so on, sisterly, all that. Any any one of your family members, or for a family, a family friend, or any any so much so called somebody you care about. You okay, know what I mean? that, that's pretty deep, though. I mean, you broke it down better than you know a lot of people that I asked before. It's it's hard to quantify love. But how would you define sex? Sex, I've always defined it as the actual intercourse between a man and a female usually I don't want to get into all the other stuff that's kind of scary but uh, <laughs> um, when the penis enters the vagina you have intercourse therefore you have sex and then there's oral sex which is not sexual intercourse remember that so oral sex is like you know analingus and cunnilingus which is oral stimulation of the vagina or the ass crack by a man for a woman to, towards a woman. Um, then there's fellatio, which is oral stimulation of the penis by a woman done to a man. Uh, You're a smart motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, though, um, I don't see anything else. I mean, I don't consider kissing to be sex. Um, you know, foreplay, I don't consider it actual sex. You know, it depends on what you want to make out of it from there. All right. Well, how what's the link between love and sex? Oh, uh... If there's um, any. Uh... That's when people get confused, you know? Since love is a concept, and it's not something you can actually, uh... Well, from my belief, I'm gonna be fair. From my belief, from my standpoint, it's not a physical object. Sex is an act you know when you love somebody that could be any emotion these days even when you supposedly hate somebody because i know a lot of females that you just tell them you hate them they'll be like no you don't you love me i know or uh, a female can say they hate you to a man the man will be like oh no you don't girl you love me and then the next day having sex or something you know and thinking they're in love or or it's a love-hate relationship, or how is that possible, yin and yang, pleasure and pain, light and dark, male and female. If you look at it that way, though, the male and female aspect of life, it makes sense. But as long as it makes sense, that's what I say. As long as love is making sense for you at the time, just go ahead and handle it your way with whoever you want to handle it with. Um, it's none of my business. I'm not a chaperone. I'm not a parent. Mm. You know, I can't really... Uh, explain it any better than that. Sex is uh, what it is, you know. It's fun, <laughs> you know. Okay, I mean, for most people, most people enjoy having sex. I mean, that's the way it is. That's, that is the natural order of things. Reproduction, the urge to reproduce. You don't always do that. Human beings don't always do it. Wear the condoms. STDs are out there and shit, you know. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. I swear to God, it's a conspiracy. I don't know what it is, really. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it, though. Just for fun, just for fun, we gonna call it a conspiracy. Okay. <laughs> but uh, love and sex, um, I don't think me. I don't take either that serious, especially not love. I don't like to confuse love with sex. That's why I don't take either that seriously. And I always say love. I push it aside. I've never been in love. Like I said, I push it aside. If anything, I gotta say I love my family if I can understand what that means. I know you can, because you love your family. Or anybody else out there loves their family. Um, uh, sex, you know, so I, I guess, 
That's you all. Know. You know, it, it means nothing. I don't try to tie it in with other things, other yeah. emotions, love, so. hate, concern, caring, uh, fear, doubt, want, need, happiness, anger. Let me question ask you this: um, love, obsession, and infatuation. What's the uh, tie between obsession and infatuation with love? And is it could it be considered the same thing? Is there a tie, or what's the differences? Okay, love, obsession, and infatuation. That's all for fun. That's all fun right there. That's all up to you. That's all up to anybody. Anybody can make that up as it goes along. There's no Ten Commandments on this. There's no said philosophy. There's no written handbook on any of that shit. That's all for you. I'm not even going to ruin that. But uh, I will tell you what I think, what I've dealt with. Um, love, I can say I love you and not mean it. Um, I'm obsessed with something. Uh, like like what I'm doing on this computer. You see me on the computer all day. I'm just looking at shit. Or I'm reading a book and I can't take my mind off of it. When you look at a girl, you can't take your mind off that girl. Can't take your eyes off that girl. She got a nice, voluptuous body. Something like that. Maybe you could say you're obsessed. You want to say infatuated? Well, I mean, usually you don't like your infatuation. If you are infatuated, usually you have a fear of something. You don't want to go ahead and act upon the urge to actually obsess yourself with that thing or object, that person. You have a fear, you have a doubt, and usually it makes you uncomfortable, so you shun it. You get rid of it. You try to get rid of it. Or if you can't get rid of it, is it obsession? What's the difference between obsession and infatuation? That's why it's all a game for you to make up all on your own. That's why I don't believe in none of that shit. Okay. I, just, I just let things happen. So, like, in your opinion, what, um, have you ever had sex before? Yes. All right. When the majority of the time you have sex with someone, do you love them? Uh, me, no. I mean, I can say it, but I don't, I don't, shit, you know? You don't even believe it. Let me be totally honest. It's a concept. Yeah. You no, know, it's just a concept. It's just a concept. Just... Just the same as all things are concepts. Any invention, any secret, any any secret formula, any invention, any breakthrough, that's all love is to me. It's it's waiting to be discovered. Mm. Okay. So, you know, in the event that one day you may have found love or in the in cases where you know show like how would you let a person know that you uh that you had those sort of feelings, uh, that you love them, that concept or whatever? How would you show somebody or tell them or kisses, hugs, love letters, flowers, cupcakes, chocolate. Okay. Uh, sex, yes, yes, definitely. Um maybe uh if you uh, dinner in a movie, uh dating, uh, um if she's got a kid, show love to the kid, uh, many different ways. I mean, the most careless yet thoughtful action can show that you uh, actually love that person. So uh, I say work with it, and it'll all work out for the best. You know, just work with it. Yeah. Work within, work with, work without. I don't know how to put it. You know, it's all a riddle. It's all a riddle. Poetry, poetry. Oh, that's a good one. Poetry. Poetry has always worked for me. You know what I mean? Poetry. That's what's up, man. Gotta be good at it though. If you want to impress the girl. It's all about impressions, making that impression. Love, that's what love is, an impression. Mm. Not not really an expression, but an impression that you can make. You, you have to, like, it's just like seduction. You have to, you have to subject that person to love. You have to paralyze that person with love. You have, it's, it's, it's like a pronouncing it upon, just like a marriage. Just like a marriage is pronounced upon two people by a, an ordained father figure, a priest of some sort. Um, we are now husband and wife. Well, we are now in love. Just like you don't have to actually, you know, some slaves, Negro slaves used to jump the broom. Some people don't even get married legally. They just say, I'm married. It's all, it's all words, you know. That's why, you know, you got to, you know, that's all it is. It's all words now. Alright? It's all words. Don't take it that seriously. But uh, 
but I mean the the thought behind the words what is what makes want, it real. The, the no, object, no, I mean the object no. of the words, like the meaning, like what are you trying to get out of it? Are you trying to get sex? It depends on what you're trying to get out of it, you know. Whether you can justify it, because love is powerful. It's a powerful word. That's gotta mean. It's a powerful word. When you use that word, you gotta be careful that you can back it up. You gotta make sure that you can back it up. Because if you can't back it up, like, it depends on what you want. If you're saying, I love you to get sex, and the girl or the, or the guy that she says it to knows they want sex and shit, it's a different story, you know? Both people have to be on the same page in the same book, the book of love, you know, the book of love, all these motherfucking authors. Oops, I'm not supposed to say that, am I? <laughs> What? Can I get away with that? You get away with it? Oh, cool, cool. It's the hood. It's the hood. Yeah, you can right curse me like to whatever you like. It's good uh, shit. All right. Um. Uh. For sure. Let's see. Let's move on a little bit, yo. I, I like that thought. I mean, you really was just kind of, but I like a lot of your thoughts. So, like, do you remember your first love? I, even though you don't say you've been in love, remember the first time you may have felt those feelings or that concept that you, you might have been a crush or something. Do you Three years old. Three years old. Yes. How it go? Who was it? Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's take that back. I thought you meant in general. Yeah. Um, oh, well, who, well, about four years old. Then. Okay. Um, I don't remember her name. Let's nickname her Selena. Mm -hmm. She was a Mexican girl. I know that though. Mexican. Mm -hmm. About six years old. Uh, I didn't look up to her or anything. She didn't like me that much. We played together. Um, it was me, black guy, Mexican girl. I'm gonna call her Selena. I liked her a lot. I didn't know how to explain it, you know, I thought it was just me, so it didn't matter, we didn't do anything. After that though, it got more serious, not between me and her, but between me and another girl. I reached her age, she was six, I became six, two years later. Uh, I actually started expressing that feeling that you might consider love by trying to, uh, you know, actually get in the panties, get in the panties, you know. She was 10. <laughs> her name was Autumn. She was my friend's sister. At the time, he was my best friend. He didn't know anything about this, of course. But, you know, it didn't matter. She uh, she had a little devious side to it. The dark side of what you might call that shit. You know, all innocence and shit, so. Um, yeah, that's cool. So, um, yeah. what about your first love loss? Oh, um. I can't say I ever had a love lost. You know, um, I had a girlfriend once that I broke up with. After a week, just cause she wouldn't give me no sex. Now was that love, was it wrong? The question is, was it wrong to do that shit? To date the girl just for sex? And then come to find out she ain't wanna have sex. So you break up with her. I mean, that's cold and cruel. Call it whatever you wanna call it. Um, yeah, I told her I love her. I did. I went there. So, so uh, all right. How about this? What's your favorite love song? Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Um, I don't have a favorite love song. Dog, so you gotta give me one. What's <laughs> the one you remember? Uh, How deep is your love by Drew Hill. Can Can you sing that song for me a little bit? How deep is your love? Okay, okay. All right. Hey mommy, you know they like it when you call me papi One time, one time, silly baby But you have been seeing another chico And baby, you know that he can't go down like me and You know that the nigga can't freak like me So mommy tell me one little thing How deep is your love for me? How deep is your love for me? Ooh, yeah that's my <laughs> shit, yeah, I mean.